Hello and welcome to this short demonstration of the human rig from the Autorig Pro Rig Library Blender add-on. This rig is part of a library of 24 rigs which can be bought at Blender Market. It's important to note that the Autorig Pro Rig Library is specifically built for the Autorig Pro rigging system. So you need to have bought that add-on for the rig library to work. And uh, um, maybe as an Autorig Pro user you're already aware that Autorig Pro by default comes with a already comes with a human rig preset. So uh, I totally get it if, if you're wondering why I would even create my own human uh, rig template uh, for other rig pro. And the reason for that is uh, because I wanted uh, the human rig to come with some standard animations uh, uh, by default basically. So um, for example, that would be a walk cycle. Let me show you that from multiple angles. and also a run cycle. Both animations are, by the way, animated uh, on 30 FPS and not on 24 because I wanted uh, the rig to be game engine uh, compatible. So uh, that's why I did that. Cool, let's uh, get back to the main features of the rig. And first of all, the uh, the purpose of this rig is to to act as a as a template rig to rig your own 3D models. So if you have any type of humanoid uh, uh, model, you can use this rig to uh, rig that model. Basically, um, cool. Uh, the this rig also comes with this block mesh, and uh, I've included this to act as an official guide, a visual guide to make it easy to. Uh, place the bones of this rig within your own 3D model. So it's just a helpful tool. If you don't have any need for it, you can simply delete it. Um, but again, it's just there to help you place the bones of this rig within your 3D model. Okay, let's turn the rig back on and let's go through some of the main controls of this rig. First of all, we have this position controller, which is there to position the rig within your scene. We have this trajectory controller, which lets you animate a certain type of trajectory for your rig. We have this uh, root mass controller, which controls both the upper and lower body of the rig. We have this root controller, which only controls the lower body, so you can use it to animate a, a hip sway, for example. We have this uh, spine mass controller, which lets you animate all the spine bones at once. And then we have this uh, head controller. And if I turn on the tool tab, you can see that it comes with this headlock property. Let me show you what that does. So if I take the neck controller and I move it around, you can see that the orientation of the head follows. But when I toggle the headlock property and I do it again, you can see that the orientation of the head keeps facing forward. So that's what the headlock does. Okay. On to the legs, by default they are in uh, IK mode, when, but we can uh, easily switch to uh, FK. Let's switch back to IK um, and have a look at this auto stretch feature. Let's turn it on and when you move the leg beyond its limit, you can see that the leg stretches. So that gives for some nice cartoony effect. Um, cool. That's the other stretch feature. The tie twist is to correct any deformation in the tie. Um, knee pinning, you can you can see the knee over here, and when I move the leg, you can see that the knee follows along. But when I pin the knee, like so, and I move the leg around, you can see that the knee stays pinned. Okay. Uh, some foot controls. Here we have a toe controller, as you can see. Here we have a foot controller for some animation of the foot. And here we have a foot roll controller. When you move it up or down, you can animate a foot roll. And when you move it side to side, you can s animate some banking movement of the foot. So that's nice. On to the arms. Uh, the arms by default are in uh, FK, but you can easily switch to IK, as you can see. Um, it also has an auto stretch feature, so let's turn it on, and you can see 
you can stretch the arms when you go beyond its limit. Nice for some cartoony animation. Um, the arm twist to correct any deformation in the arm. Uh, and here we here we have the elbow, and when I um, well when I move the arm, you can see that the elbow follows along. But when I turn on elbow pinning, you can see that the elbow stays in place. So that's nice when you're animating a shot where your character is resting its elbows on a desk, for example. Uh, finally, we have a finger grasp. Uh, yeah, it's. I don't know if you saw it, but it's. Yeah, it speaks for itself, I would say. Um, yeah, to be honest, I think I've covered the main features of the human rig from the other rig pro rig library so uh, if you have any more questions please feel free to ask me on blender market i'm always happy to help but uh, yeah thank you for watching